Your professor will not give you this template on how to draw the right product every time, but I will. Let's say that the OH is on the bottom right corner, or you're able to move that molecule to position it in the bottom right corner. If you do this trick, this is what you want to do. After we move this in the bottom right corner, if we have the plus DET, that means it's above the plane. And we start off drawing that epoxide just the normal way we would. So in the same direction of that double bond, I'm now going to place that epoxide on top. Then our substituents are going to go as follows. That bottom OH on the bottom right corner is going to be wedged, and I place that here. Then this other substituent, whether that's a hydrogen or alkyl group, will be dashed. And then, of course, for R1, so again, R is just referring to some sort of alkyl group or could have also been a hydrogen, then that's also going to be dashed. This one here in the same sort of side of that OH will be wedged. Now, if I had something like this, where it's now a negative DET or a minus DET, then that's going to be below the plane. So still going in the same sort of direction of that double bond, now I'm just pointing that epoxide down. And notice our substituents are still the same as before. So I'm still going to have this on the wedged. I'm still going to have this group on the dashed. Same thing here, dashed, dashed, wedged, wedged. Follow for more tricks they don't teach you in class.